couple of months ago, I made a video on how to tell male and female blue jays apart. I will link that video up in the right hand corner of this video for those who may want to watch that one first. In the video, I showed the various blue jays that I know and have named. For those of you not familiar with me, yes, I can tell them apart. I have Blue and Sweet Girl and Feisty J and Hermoso and Abby in the background. <laughs> and Feisty J's mate, Sky, up in the tamarack tree. Currently, I know about 10 Blue Jays, 5 made it pairs. Some of the Jays I have known for 6 years. That's a pretty long time and it's certainly long enough to be able to start to notice some things. Since uploading that video, many people commented saying they noticed that males had more blue under their chin than females. So I figured that this was worth exploring and making a video of. By the way, it's super awesome to have people chiming in with their own observations and getting interested to find answers about those mysterious birds. Together, we will unlock their secrets. After roughly a month of investigating this, going over years of videos and pictures, as well as paying much closer attention to the jays I know right now, I think I may have found the answer. So let's get into it and see if males really do have more blue under their chins than females. This is Abby, a young female blue jay and her mate Hermoso. As you may have noticed, Abby clearly doesn't have more blue under her chin than her mate Hermoso. Here is another mate at pair. This is Blue and Sweet Girl. I have known them for about six years. Sweet Girl also doesn't have as much blue under her chin as her mate Blue. And here is one more pair I'd like to show. Snowy, another female, and her mate Webster. Again, more blue under the chin of the male than the female. In fact, the females don't seem to have any blue at all, but they actually do. It's just a very small amount that can be seen at certain angles and in different lighting conditions. It's really starting to look like males do have more blue under their chin than females. That was until one female blue jay threw a monkey wrench in this idea. Meet Cosmos. I have known her for five years. Cosmos has a fair amount of blue under her chin, a lot more blue than the other females. Cosmos has had kind of a rough time with keeping a mate and thus over the last five years I've seen her with three different males. The first being Catcher, as you can see he has a little bit of blue but not much more than her. Her second mate was Oxford, again he didn't have that much more blue than her, and now her current mate is Squacky, he has very little blue. I've tried different angles and lighting conditions, but he really doesn't have much blue. In case you are doubtful if I know for sure Cosmos is a female, remember I've known her for 5 years. Plus I knew her other mates Oxford and Catcher too, they were definitely males. I have seen her receiving food offerings from her mates in spring, a sure sign that she is a female, and she always goes missing for weeks over summer during the nesting time because only females incubate the eggs and nestlings and thus they never stray far from the nest. Even though Cosmos has a fair amount of blue, I kept wondering why most of the other females don't, so I decided to dig a little deeper. I went back over my older videos and pictures of other male and female blue jays from 2012 that I have known as well to see if I could get a more certain answer. So there's this guy, Mordecai, which does have some blue under his chin but it's really not that much. Then there's his mate Pretty Girl, who has what it seems to be none at all. And finally two more females. This is Bug, again no blue. And finally, Indigo. She did have some blue in hers, nothing like the males or even Cosmos, but more than most females. It looks like Cosmos still has the most, with Indigo probably second. Then I looked at the males again, such as Squacky and Mordecai. From what I can see, they just don't seem to have that much blue under their chin. And take a look at Blue, the guy I mentioned in the beginning. Obviously, lots of blue under his chin, but check out this guy, Feisty J. He just booted blue off that perch. He doesn't have nearly as much blue under his chin. 
And remember when I mentioned how in certain lighting conditions you can see more blue under the chin in females than you would under other circumstances? Well, take a look at Abby. She seems to have much more blue now. I thought this was worth mentioning. So anyway, I'm finding it hard to use the blue under the chin as a guide for telling female and male blue jays apart. After all, if the males had more blue under their chins than females, then Squawky should have more blue than Cosmos, right? And then look at other male jays, like Mordecai and Feisty Jay. They just don't have that much blue under their chin. So probably don't use that as a guide for telling male and female blue jays apart. I can say one thing though. I will be keeping a closer eye on this over the coming years for a more certain answer. Wouldn't it be awesome if that could be the case, male blue jays having more blue under their chin than females? I think it would, but it don't seem to be the case. So I'm curious of what your thoughts are regarding this. Comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like as it do help me out a great deal. And until next time, happy birding! Thank you.